Hi guys, this is Stefan Zamit from NeuronFX.com and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can create this very nice Happy New Year fireworks display for the New Year's using uh, Premiere Pro using the Happy New Year template. So we're going to do this right inside of Premiere Pro. So let's jump inside of Premiere Pro and we are here and the first thing that we need to do is to install the Mogart file. So to do that, simply make sure that you have the Essential Graphics window right over here. You can even go from here. If this is not, if, if this is not, not present in here, simply go to Window and make sure that it, it is digged on from here. Then you can even either go to Graphics and install, install Motion Graphics Template or else you can simply hit this button inside the Essential Graphics to install your Motion Graphics Template. Go to the file that you have purchased and uh, simply click on open. And as you can see, that will load right over here. Brilliant. So now all we need to do is simply drag and drop that into your sequence. Wait for it, give it some time until it's fully loaded. And there it goes. You can see it right over here. Now we can scroll through it. Of course, give it some time to, to load up the the project before you move around since of course it needs to generate all these fireworks in here so just give it allow it some time to do that and there we go we can see the fireworks in here perfect with the Happy New Year text and of course we can edit almost everything in here so we can edit the the firework colors we can edit the text in here so let's get started so in here inside the edit section of essential graphics you can see this very nicely laid out for you so you can see text one in here and you type in can type in whatever you like in here so if we would like we can type in Mary instead and that will switch for us in a moment in here and there we go as you can see that text have changed to Mary so uh, of course between every edit you will need to allow it the time to generate those particles for you so then for that specific text we can even scale it down or up so you can modify the scale in here so if we do something like 50 for instance in here you can see that that will become very small as you can see perfect and we cannot really see it like that since it's too small but you you that's that's how that works so let's put that back to 130 perfect and for instance if you have a word that is uh, longer so we will see that in in the next text actually we can use the scale to modify that so then you have the color for the specific text and we simply need to turn this wheel and uh, as you can see, the text changes its color. So let's jump to the next firework. Let's, let's make this maybe this color, perfect. Let's jump to the next firework, which is text two. And let's type in Christmas here. Perfect, so uh, that's now Christmas, as you can see, it's being cut out a little bit in here since it is too large. So all we need to do is simply scale that down. So let's type in something like 80 and see how that fits. And perfect, it fits perfectly in here. So now we can rotate the color as well and change it however we like. Of course, play with this. You can, we actually recommend to leave with them the colors as they are since they are perfectly for the festive festive season but of course you can change the colors if you if you like so uh, then text three we can customize this as well so uh, let's just simply type and in here and we can then adjust this color as well so perfect something like that then we can move forward. Of course, before we move forward, you can even tweak the color of the other fireworks in this composition. So to do that, simply close this text. So 
Till now we have edited text 1, 2 and 3. Now we can go to firework colors and you have all the firework styles in here laid out for you. And basically the first one would be the first one to show up in here. And going down this one would be the last one to show up. So let's start editing the colors of this. And in each style have different colors. So we will see immediately what these do. So as you can see, we have tweaked that firework to blue in there. So let's switch these all to blue so that you can see what's happening in here. Perfect. So those are those kind of background fireworks in there. Then let's go to style two and we can see those fireworks now. Let's make them to like this. Let's make them blue as well so that the other ones would, would pop up. Of course, you can give them even different colors. so that you have variety in here. And like this, you can even adapt this template for, for other things like the carnival, for instance. So very, very modular template. And uh, now these are basically the fireworks that I can see in here. Let's jump to the next part. So let's jump to somewhere around here and see what else we can edit. And there we go, we have, uh, we have the next text in here. So uh, I really like the combination of colors in here, very, very nice. So I'm going to allow, leave the colors as they are, but if you would like to change any colors, simply go to Firework Colors and check out the other styles and change their colors, just like that. So uh, let's go to Text 4. And for Text 4, you have the option also to add a logo. So if you would like to add a logo, Simply hit switch to logo. You can either add your text in here or simply hit switch to logo. And it will switch for you to this logo. Now to change that logo, we need to click on these three, three lines button in here. As you can see right now, it is using this logo, the outlines of this logo. And we can simply hit replace from Explorer. And now in here we can find our logos and let's load up my logo file in here. So let's try this one, click open and there we have our logo. Now this is a bit too large, so we simply need to scale this down by scrolling down on this. Perfect, so there you go, you can see the logo in there. And it is important that your logo has actually a transparent background around it since it will generate the fireworks around its edges. So that's for the logo. Now the last one is text 05 or the last logo. So if we jump to the end in here, we can see the text in here and we can edit. Switch to the, we can type in a text in here or else switch to the logo just as we have just done. And you can of course change the colors of these as well. So in this case, you can type in something like, for instance, the end. And let's see that update. Perfect. And it is a bit too large, so I'm going to simply scale it down to 100. And there we go. Those are the features that you have. Of course, feel free to modify any colors in here. And once you are ready, you can simply add your own music file and then simply export. So to export, we can go to, make sure that the sequence is selected in here and simply go to File, Export, and click on Media. Then this dialog window will pop up. And from here, you can select the output destination where you would like to save your uh, your file, so give it a name. So Merry Christmas Firework, hit save. If you are using audio, hit export audio. As a format, I would like to use H.264 and uh, make sure you use maximum render quality set to on. And then as we scroll down, I'm going to choose target bitrate as 50, so that it is quite high. So that's it, simply hit export and you are, you are done basically. Of course, the rendering time will uh, depend on your system, but generally it is quite fast for the kind of fireworks that it's producing. So uh, 
I hope that you enjoy this template and find it very useful for your projects. Thank you very much.